sos, 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 Broadcasting live from the Treehouse in Phoenix, Arizona. It's not conscious. With Mark Poles and Chris Woodsy Peralta. From the home offices in Gilbert, Arizona. What up? We're keeping that beginning in. We are. Fun. Yeah. Okay. That's why I hit it so quickly, so I can't edit it out. Did it out. Edit it out. Edit it out. Welcome, Edited everybody. It. Hi, everybody. When we know they knocked conscious. Wednesday. Wednesday, January the twentieth, twentieth, my dude, twenty twenty one. Yes, uh, inauguration. Congratulations. It's the final Once countdown. Again, just close the loop on the uh, political season until two weeks from now. Till because in in two weeks it starts again, right? For the next four years. Um, but uh, congratulations to the to your team that won. Sorry to your team if your team lost. Whatever. So. It's all Jesus' fault. No, wait, a minute, that's football. Sorry. You well, you can credit Jesus, but you can't blame Jesus. Remember this. But this is a not conscious, sir. We are we are being serial. I mean serious. Okay. Serious. What are we talking about today, sir? Today, sir. And who's it from? From the home office in Santa Ana, California. A branch. It's a branch office. The branch office. The West Side branch you office. You are the home office. Yes, the branch Gilbert. office. Has to be a branch. It cannot be sure. the home office. You're, well, you're the home office, sir, in Gilbert, G Town. Today's episode, sir, what historical event would you like to have witnessed? Okay. Over to you, Chuck Mark. Okay, and that's of all time, right? Of all of the time. Right, and we did, you, what we were it? a little ambiguous. We didn't yeah, oh yeah, say how many. No, well, right. I'm saying we didn't say how many we could have. Mm -hmm. I was thinking you were just going to let us have one because you're very succinct and, and Virgoian. I am, I am... From Planet Virgo, me 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 me. Nanu yeah. Nanu. <laughs> Prosper and long, and <laughs> Prosper we, and long Johnson. What's great about this? We have done many listy things on the Googs. I love how we, you love to say that. And we've done some surveysy things. Yes. This one surveys not us. Surveys. I was not, like, not, hmm. well, we have done some Delicious. surveys us and some tequila. When it touches your lips, some tequilas back in the day. On yeah. The Googs. Because we had to get drunk to look up random shit. Because that's why it's called the beer Googles, but beer this is Googles. not it. That's not it. This is a conscious. So, yeah. um, this is, but this is a survey of a knocked conscious survey. Yes. So it's almost like the bucket list one, but I think the bucket list one was a gook. So it might have been a knocked conscious I, as well. I don't remember. I don't remember. But we don't label ourselves, sir. No. You know, if you label me, do you not negate all the things that I could be? I don't even like ladles. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, huh, because soup's delicious. No, I just pour it right out of the can. Oh, by the way. Yes. Collins, have you ever been to Collins? The Go, Collins? Like uh, Fort Collins? No, on Camelback and 36th. No, I never even heard of it. 6th Street, the Collins. Todd Collins? The Collins? Whatever, the Collins. Regardless, French onion soup. Oh. Go get it. French nice. dip? Go get it. Yeah, okay, fuck. Um... I would tell you to get like right now. Well, yeah, I have to go now. Now, thanks everybody. It's been a French great. It's been a great time. Have a great day. Okay, no, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, uh, it's delicious. So we we have to tangent a little bit before we get into this serious, sure. serious topic. So this is and your where would you love? What would you have loved to have witnessed live? Yes, any historical event of some sort. Yes. Okay. I try to whittle it down to one. I, of course, I don't have just one. You can't. I don't it's think like a that's Pringle, possible. bro. It's ridiculous. Or no, yeah. lay. You can't just have one. Or something. Right, but I think by having one, it really makes you focus because I've got different criteria. If it's just one, and we'll get into that. I don't but want I, to. How would you like to start with the surveys? Sure. Surveys? Yes. Surveys and surveys. All, both. That would would that be a cool like uh, Gallup polling place? Like yes. after you're done voting. You go and You're get right beers next door, and you answer get free questions. Beers. Yeah, surveys and surveys. Uh, surveys and surveys. What did you think about Prop Forty Two? It's fucking awesome, <laughs> man. It's a fucking best prop. Was a prop was a pop up. Yeah, no barfing. Yeah, that. That's, what a god! I have no idea where that. <laughs> surveys and surveys. Th this is what happens when um, flow of consciousness happens in my brain. Oh, I, gorgeous, I'm gorgeous. feeling very unencumbered right now so okay. i don't know what's gonna come out of my mouth i don't even like being cumbered i know it's not going in my mouth but i don't know what's gonna come out of it okay french I, onion soup 
well, not that's neither going in or coming out right Damn now. It. But definitely some other things are not ever going in there. But stuff comes out, and then I, I try to catch it. You know how you say it, and you're like, oh, no, no, oh, oh. yes, and you, it, it, it already done. Too late. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Survey time. Are you ready? Yeah, and Abel. Right. Yes, Abel brought this, this from, to us. This so is Abel's, best friend. Best friend Abel's amazing suggestion because I dug this one. Chris Wizzy Peralta's best friend, Jeez. ladies and gentlemen. So thank you, Abel, for that. From the branch office in Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Santa Ana, California. California. Kill for it, my friend. Huh? Let's do this. Okay, you ready? Survey number one. Georgia boy one. GB one he started a, strong. He had a qualifying oh. question <laughs> regarding the, the podcast survey of the week question. His question was witnessed from a spectral viewpoint or actually be there and participate in some way. And I was already passed out uh, drunk when I got the text message, so I did not respond. And then I saw that this morning. So uh, his answers. He has two, doesn't he? If of course, they all have fucking well, two. Well, if it's conditional, yeah, it definitely is two. And I, and I can tell you, I think I know which one he's going to go with. You do? Okay, what's that. he going to go with? Tell me. No, no I, well, no. I, I don't want to sound like an asshole because I'll be wrong. I think it for has, the one he can be part of, JFK assassination. No. Wow. That's, that's, a, that's a, I didn't think about that. That's a good because, one. Because, see, this is, where, this is where the condition shouldn't happen. That I think you should only be able to witness. Because okay. being a participant, you know what's you know going to outcome? happen, so you could change it, and that oh. would really be a causality issue. Well, the, we're not talking about the butterfly effect, dude. This I, is just, we're talking about historical events. I know, but like, would you want to be JFK shot in the head just to experience what it feels like then? Who would you want to be in that scene? J Jackie, reach out for I want to be the, the seat the, that Jackie is sitting on. The guy... <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Are you sure this is a knocked conscious? Because that would be my fate. Well, yes. Are you sure this is a not conscious? Because that, no. that was so dirty. <laughs> it was beautiful. It's not be, what you expected. Be, That's why I, I said it. I thought you could have said the seat Marilyn was on, too. Oh, shit. She wasn't in but the car. Bump, no, but. Happy birthday. She was definitely on JFK Check at times. Mark. Hey, oh. Hey, happy birthday um, to you. <laughs> Okay, so I was completely wrong. Correct. I, and I'm sorry You're about completely that. wrong, yes. But um, I just wasn't sure if participating could affect the outcome then because yes. then it's no longer the historical. Once again, you're trying to use logic on a fictional fucking podcast. An oh. hypothetical? Yes. Everything's nuanced, man. There's no yes or no. So, Greg. You ready? I am so ready. So, the answer for GB1. Oh, dear Jesus. No, go. If it, the answer for GB1, if you're witnessing, correct? You're going to start with okay, that one? No. Okay. Start. As a part These are his words. <laughs> I'm just going down the way uh, he said, sent me the information, bro, okay? I'm like, hey, can, I, can we do it this way? No. <laughs> I'm just... Uh, okay. These, this is his word. Participant. Battle of Vienna or any American Revolution. Battle. Where was the Battle of Vienna? Do you, are you familiar with I'm the Battle I'm pretty sure of it was in Vienna. Well, that's the point, though. <laughs> Do you know anything about this battle? Because it sounds very not. obscure. It's not like they're like. And the next it's like one, it's not like you said Battle of the Bulge. Ooh, you know what I mean? Or Bay of Pigs. Yes. Or something. The that next we... one is even more obscure, bro. You ready? Are you sure? Yes. As oh. a ghostly observer, his words again. Verdun, in World War One. I. I I've never heard of Verdun. I wonder if that's where. Uh, Winston Churchill sent like that's those no 60, World War people. One, right? Oh, 60,000, 50,000 yeah, people right. to get killed. Yeah, I mean, it's in the straight there. Verdun sounds more like Germany or uh, but World War One, yeah, World War European, One, European, not because Churchill was like that battle was more like in the Straits of Gibraltar, right? Yeah, it was a straight. Which is um, not, which is Spain. Right, Spain and Italy, right between Spain and Italy, I think, or something like that. Battle mm -hmm. of Verdun uh, was fought from 21st February to 18th December 1916. So, oh, I'm sorry, it lasted how many months? Wow, 10 months. From fe 21st of February to 18th of December. So 10 months on the Western Front in France. Okay. It was the longest of the First World War. So that would probably explain why you wanted that. GB1 is... Spot on. And his wife eats squirrel. And but one not eats sushi. sushi. Correct. 
so like they're classy. <laughs> Well, they're just thinking about the Battle of Verdun. I'm like, what is that? I don't. I'm so. I'm so classless. It was I where don't squirrel tacos was invented. <laughs> you know, put a little wee wee sauce on it, little snails. All right, so we got that one out of the way, and then, and then the other thing was uh, Battle of Vienna. Yeah. Okay, but let's go to the next person. That was awesome, though. GB One, thank you so much for your submission. We are so it, grateful for your, for your. And him and his uh, wife will be here in March, and we hope to get him on the show. They'll be our silver surfers couch people or whatever the hell you call it. Silver microphones. Or it was something. 1683, September 12th, 1683. Two ah. days before you were born. Yay! And 300, and 300 years. And Plus 300 years. Battle of plus, Vienna? Plus 300 years. Why Almost. was that a... It was uh, the Battle of Vienna took place uh, near Vienna. I, I'm i guessing it's for Is that for the them Austria, to be f- right? Yeah, in Austria. Okay. The Ottoman army was defeated and the city escaped pillage and destruction. How about that? Pillage... And destruction. and murder. Right. Rape and murder. So, uh, Battle of Vienna as a participant or any revolutionary war. Yes. So, 16 to 1700s, apparently, likes to fucking chew on a bullet while he gets his leg sawed. No, he, uh, sure. I don't know, dude. I'm just saying that sounds like the not a good time to fucking be in war. But he's, yeah. Is there a good time to be in war? (sighs) The newer bullets are much cleaner, man, when they go through you. Okay. Uh, the other ones were just balls of lead, right? Right, but you get gang green and and you gang get... Gang red. Oh, my gosh. Gang purple. <laughs> can we can we move along? Yes. GB2. Jesse Owens at the Olympics. He wants to like be in his body. He, no, he wants to watch witness. Jesse. The rest of them are witnesses. This is nineteen thirty six. Six, correct? In when he's Berlin. in Berlin, looks to his side when he's racing because he respects his component competitors. Sure. Do you ever watch that? No. You never saw a Jesse Owens race? Well, where he yeah, turns but his I don't, head to the I don't side? remember. Yeah, so every race that Jesse Owens runs, he turns his head to the side, and it's because he only wants to beat them barely. He he was very a very humble person. Oh. He only wanted to beat um by a like he just wanted to beat people. So he would only run fat as faster to beat them, not yeah, necessarily not his fastest. Right. I think that's him. Is that the guy? I don't know. I'm trying to look. Anyway. Let's Words. See. Words. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh, the volume's on. Uh, I need to turn it on. We got ourselves running here. <laughs> No, uh, it's not. It's not that guy. Okay. Maybe it's, is it Jim Thorpe? Is it Carl? Somebody, Jim Thorpe, maybe? No, it's somebody back in back in the olden in the days. Black in the black and white days. Um, yes, black and white um, television uh, v- recording video. video days. Sorry, monochrome. Video Let's go with monochrome. Kill the radio <laughs> star. I think I'm turning go. Japanese. I'm thinking. Ow, ow. That was pretty good. You are the- I used to sing that one, man. That's actually one of the best things I could sing. Wow. We used to sing No Cool Click Track. We're like, Benny, you are a radio star. La, la, la. Next. Oh, sorry. <laughs> GB2. Jesse Owens. Jesse Owens. Wa- p- witness. Okay, to be so, at the Olympics had, in 1936. He had two of them or did Just he only that is all. Thank you. You're that welcome. is that's really cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It is. But um bump. Next one. Yes. Mr. Miller. Mr. Miller. Yes. Man, you're coming out with the heavy hitters early. Uh this is just the order, bro. Okay. That's random. Random order. Yes. I like it. Uh f- he has three responses. One is Roswell to see what really happened. Like to watch the crash? Just, to, to or to see, watch yes. the carnage afterward. All of the above. He didn't say. Roswell to see what really happened. It would be said. so cool to be like at the crash while it's happening. Yeah, to, right? to be standing there and you see the spaceship. As you say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good and then bad. King, 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 king. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Take me to your leader. <laughs> Ow. Next. That was the worst. UFO crash. It was uh, pretty good. Dramatization. Uh, anyone's the ever witnessed. The following is a dramatization. The previous was a dramatization. After uh, well. Roswell, he said, Tiger Woods, 
first Masters win. Okay. Which I think it was 97. Is that before or after the steroids? Way before. Way, way, way. But he I think, was skinny. I think he's after the steroids. That doesn't mean, it doesn't mean he wasn't 1997? doesn't mean he wasn't jacking up, bro. Good thing he just had his fifth back surgery yesterday. Well, the steroids He's out through. indefinitely. Indefinitely, of course. I'm sure he's a good guy, though. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> After that, he. Yeah, why did you keep the camera on me so long, man? I shut the <laughs> fuck up so you could continue. And all you, you did was me. watch me like sit uncomfortably <laughs> after I shat on Tiger Woods. <laughs> Not third, fucking cool, man. Third, tertiarily, Look. Mr. Miller said <laughs> to be there when supposedly, supposedly, Joseph Smith saw God. Only Joseph saw him. Well, so if you, well, let's say you were standing it? next to him, did you also see God? No, you saw him seeing God. Okay. Well, because we, only he could fucking read the text and only he could fucking right. see them because he only spoke to him because he's a fucking shyster. Uh, uh, <laughs> First Tiger Woods and now this. <laughs> Jesus, no, dear. But, no, but think about it. Joseph Smith only saw God, correct? Yeah. So, like, but he was alone. What happens if he was with somebody when he, he saw He would be God? like, God, let me introduce you to Steve. my friend. Yeah, Steve. Hi, Steve. Steve, Say hi to this God. is God. God, God, Steve. Say hi. Hi. Okay. Yeah, you think? Okay, yeah. Okay, Steve. This he says God. hi, but you will not believe the shit that he watched you do yesterday. You shouldn't <laughs> be doing that. Dude, don't. And like, you just assume that, right? Like, And you cold read fucking Miller. But, but the Joseph point Smith is, is what happens if... You were there with Joseph Smith, and you also saw God. That's the point. I, I, I get it. The thing about Joseph Smith's ability, though, is that God spoke only to him. So even being at the event, Joseph Smith would not have, would be like, yeah, I'm seeing him, but no one else would. I understand your point. That's all You're I'm a saying. shyster. <laughs> I'm just a shice. <laughs> I'm a shisa. I'm a shisa, which is a shit. A sh okay. Yeah, in German. Yeah, I'm a shisa. Look, man, I I just ripped the band aids off things. I apologize. You don't apologize. I do, but I have fun with it. It's not like, come on, we're laughing, aren't we, about it? <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> yeah, because you're laughing so hard. Oh, yeah, it's tears of <laughs> sorrow, bro. Okay, let's recap. Yes. Watching, okay, being with Joseph Smith when he saw God. Tiger Woods Masters. Tiger Woods Masters. First Masters. First Masters, correct? Correct. Okay. And the crash at Roswell. And the Roswell With crash. the extraterrestrials. The extraterrestrials. The little green men. Yeah. And that's so interesting. So interesting. I definitely want to know. Yeah. I want to know so badly. Yeah. You could put that on your list, Have bro. you spoken with someone recently? Have I spoken with someone recently? Like, have I spoken with an alien? No, like someone who knows maybe some things. No. You haven't recently said, hey, how you been? You no. Up? No. Take me to your leader. This guy? <laughs> Commodore? Uh, No, I just this text message. Oh. I didn't know what you're talking about. I was like, Yeah, what? the Commodore. Yeah, he's on here. Calm down. Okay. Next up is Vincent. No, I was talking about the other thing. Yeah, I know. Uh, Vincent. Vincent said the Emancipation Vincent. Proclamation. That is... Is that that's not Gettysburg? No, obviously. That's this is Lincoln. Lincoln, and this is this his second most famous speech, or most well, famous? was it a speech or was it he just introduced the the proposed law into Congress? Right? Isn't I think that he, what the Emancipation I, Proclamation is? It's just a document, right? But maybe the signature of it is that what he's maybe, maybe, he's, maybe when he signed not, it or when he took it to Congress. I'm not sure the specifics on that. Did he have a second one? He did. Besides? Okay, so that it's amazing. That, that one's awesome though. That okay, one's this really one's, historic. This is the best one on the list. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Till the next one. Yeah. No, this is the best one. Blowing the load, bro. Vince Ooh, uh, wants to be at the opening of the first Filibertos <laughs> to get. A Mondo burrito, bro. Oh my god! Do you think they had Mondo burrito in the first Bill Filiberto? Of course. Or do you dude. think the Mondo was added no. as they expanded their menu? That was the first or was thing named on the menu, or something? No, that was the first. Dude. Okay, okay. I don't know. How do you know? Were you at the I first I'm Filiberto? It up. Right, and I'm not. I asked the hard question, sir. Okay. Uh, Filibertos. Yeah. First of all, would you like to sponsor Christopher and I? Yes. Free uh, we burritos. Would, we would for just love burritos. Uh, carne asada, carne asada fries. fries. I was just gonna say. God 
goddamn super stupid. nachos nachos your be- your ground beef tacos i don't care Amazeballs. how greasy they are and how shitty the i feel rice, for, dude. for two days after but fuck they are so good going down yes not so great coming back up but no. they're great going down um yeah okay the first filibertos so i want to see the signing of basically the signing of the emancipation proclamation and then go get a burrito and the fur filbert. Yeah, like the grand Fucking opening when they that. cut the That's, they cut the ribbon. Those are the two most diverse and excellent, excellent answer, Vincent. Thank you. Amaze balls. I, I think I think we need to. I don't know if we can go any further. That's pretty much. You see, that's load. it. It's we're it's done. Have a great day. Bye. Next up was golf, Chris. He said a Bears Super Bowl for the sports fans out there. Uh, eighty-five. Yeah. Not right because they only won in '85. They yeah. lost in 2006 to the, Indy to, to Colts, right? To yeah, to Indianapolis. After that, he had either Roosevelt's or Churchill's speech, and I'm assuming <laughs> Roosevelt. <laughs> I'm assuming Roosevelt's was. That's not a uh, fear. Uh, or was it fear not, or is it the one after? The only thing we have to Pearl fear is fear itself. I think. Well, his inauguration speech is when he said that in thirty-two. Right. And then. And then what the? Uh, then the day. Day of shall live in infamy. Right. The day December which, the eighth speech. A date. I believe which, it's date. Date which shall live in infamy. I believe is correct. So those are. Um, I thought those were good answers. Those are good. I, I think the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. I think is the. Is yeah, that's the his inauguration. More speech. powerful speech of the two. Only because the other one, obviously, was like a har- horrible event, but like the speech itself was its own event. You know, it happened to be at the odd inauguration. Yes, but the speech itself was powerful, and it didn't have an. It wasn't like piggybacking off the off of, a horrible like day. A horrible day. Yeah, two twenty five hundred people died. Right. Yeah. Correct. So, not to not to belittle what happened. Obviously, it was a horrific, horrific event. Yes. Anyway. Next up is yeah. Mackenzie. Mackenzie. She Mackenzie, said, welcome to the show. Da. She said, the building of the Pyramid of Giza. I mean, let's finally answer the question of how the fuck. Yes. <laughs> Amen to that one. That, that, that actually, if it wasn't, I think I replaced it. The yellow one? The clapping? I think I did. I think what, I replaced what's, what it. What is it now? I think it's the intro music. Oh, it? no. No, actually, I think. It's the yellow one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here we go, Ken. No, I replaced the last one. Okay. Okay. I pay attention. You paid attention. The, Mackenzie, that was an excellent answer. Yes. Because, he, A, how the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> right. And, two, how the fuck? What the shit? Um, I would hope you could be... A, a, the, you stay the same age the entire time yeah. it's being built oh. over the hundred years or 200, whatever the fuck, how, how many, how many, whatever years it took to make. I don't know. A long time. Yeah. I'm just asking. Yeah. It's a good point. I, I'm just wondering if you could do it that way. If it's like an out of body, like, um, a remote viewing. Yes. You can it's like zoom it. call, bro. <laughs> Without getting older, you can pat, go through time quick. You know what I mean? Yes. Experience it. You don't in age a different way. and you can time travel. Right. Time and space enough. travel don't age. Yeah, like, because the thing is, it would feel different to you as an adult than it did as a child. So True. I think you'd want to be an adult and if just kind of take it. If it was a kid, it would in. seem bigger. Yeah, it would seem, everything would seem much more grand. Imagine, <sighs> imagine the fucking pyramids as a child. Oh my God. What the fuck? How man? the fuck? Yeah, that's a, the fuck, daddy. The fuck? <laughs> that's exactly what they said. The little bastard. Is it like Deplane? Yes. Uh, next, she had oh, yeah, it's the right. signing of the Declaration of Independence because I bet those guys were pretty cool dudes, she says. I'm from Philadelphia. We know this, right? I've probably beaten that dead horse. It, it, yeah. Have you been to Philadelphia? No. Okay. Independence Hall yeah. is where the Declaration was signed. I know. I've seen that movie. Oh, Roller Treasure, Treasure Protectors. protectors. Have you seen that history of swear words on Nicolas Cage? Not yet. I heard it's good. I can't. I don't know if I can watch it. Is he got a hairpiece? Uh, never mind. He I has different facial different things. Toupees, toops, carpets, yeah. rugs. So it's summer in Philadelphia. They're wearing heavy wool shit with fucking wool wigs. And no air conditioning. There's no power. No, there's no electricity yet. They have a couple windows. I've been in the room. It still fucking smells. No, uh, <laughs> imagine the fucking be like, 
Oh yeah, being there while they're deliberating, and they figure out what to fucking say. They took a shower, like maybe once a a bath. Baby out with the bathwater. Right? Is it once a month? Once a week? Whatever. I mean, it's not. But even then, just the sweat. Yeah. Yeah. Of all those people, well, you would go back there with a nose pin. A clothes book <laughs> on your nose, They'd be like, so you can witness the you can witness the signing of the decoration, but you don't have to smell them. Would you get a modern one? Because Franklin would be like, "What is this neat contraption in the middle? It's like a spring that attaches this. I shall invent this." That's exactly how he sounds. That was really good. Get me my syphilis medication. <laughs> Did that sound like him too? Yeah. Did, was it syphilis or gonorrhea? I don't know what he had. He had one of those it two. It was chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> With an extra H. L A. Midia. Midia. Um, man, I love that inside joke. I don't care if people say that's an inside joke. I'll tell it's the one story. Of my favorite I don't give a ones. shit. C L A. Midia. That's the way it's going to be. You have to just listen to one of our other 5,000 episodes that are two and a half hours long each. C to uh, get the backstory because the backstory is worth it. Fuck yeah! The rest of the stories are worth it. I like the answers. Declaration of Independence, Mackenzie. Thank you. Two very very yes. good answers. Yes. Next up is Roberto. He said the moment Archangel Michael visited Mother Mary, assuming it happened, and I said, "Wait a minute, that it was the angel Gabriel." He goes, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, that one." <laughs> he goes you're a better <laughs> he says you're a better uh, catholic than i am I i'm like uh that's not true at all <laughs> i just know shit <laughs> i just <laughs> i don't fake it till i make it <laughs> you know one of those guys michael gabriel frank xavier i don't fuck one of those fuckers that's fucking ridiculous man that's uh, hilarious. The next one. Yeah, that guy. That one. Yeah. That one. The next one is really, I find disturbing, but I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> oh my God, honey baby. I'm I always go- got that going on. I'm losing a lung. I got the vid. <laughs> the Covis. COVID. Uh, next, kill the radio star. COVID. Kill the radio star. Shut it. Am I mine and in my car? <laughs> Next, we can't rewind. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Roberto said the day he was conceived. And I was like, bro. You want to watch your mom's vagina? I don't want to be there when my parents are doing it. That's fucked oh, up. Conceived. Conceived. You want to watch your parents no, banging? No, that's wrong, dude. What position do you think? Oh, she God, is stop. <laughs> uh, I, I was an immaculate reception, dude. No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Was wrong. Who the fuck wants to see their parents I make don't know, them? Dude, this should be a beer Google. This should not be. <laughs> no one wants to see that. It's <sighs> terrible. Um, I, I don't know what to make of it's that. It's wrong. Okay, is that the, his only choice? Yeah. Well, the when an angel banged Mary, oh, yeah, and when one. his parents okay. banged, those wow. are his responses. So he wants to watch porn. Double bang. Were they both pizza deliveries, and they the the uh, Mary couldn't afford it, and his mom couldn't afford it either. Sure. <laughs> Pizza delivery. I can't afford this. How am I going to pay it off? <laughs> 1977. What are you? Shut up. Stop it. Pizza delivery. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, <laughs> next up is speaking of porn. <laughs> Next up, you're kidding, right? No. Next up, we have not ever speaking of porn, but we have not talked. No. Okay. (laughs) Next up is uh, Mr. Gibson, the backdoor commodore. His response is magical. Okay. He said, "Washington boning Betsy Ross." (laughs) Those are his words, and I said, "Old school (laughs) porn, I approve." Wait a minute. That's what he said. When did Washington bang Betsy Ross? I don't know, dude. That's what Wasn't he, he said. Wasn't he banging Betsy Wa- Martha Ward? Washington, Martha, Martha Washington. Washington. But he also had a couple of <clears throat> slaves he slept with, right? Uh, Jefferson definitely was, was Jefferson. banging. Okay, I always get him. Yeah, Jefferson yeah. was definitely banging some slaves. We're pretty certain, right? I think we have uh, great yeah, grandchildren that are yeah. biracial at minimum. Correct. Um, which is pretty awesome. I mean, I, well... 
That did not sound the way I meant that to sound in my head. <laughs> what? What did you say about you weren't sure what's going to come out of your mouth? That's what, yeah. that's what just French happened. French onion soup, bro. French onion soup just came out. Mm, I couldn't catch those words. Uh, that was an incorrect statement. Okay. The previous one. Whatever it takes. Let's just move forward. We love you, dude. It's going to be fine. Okay, it next is. up. Because it's total misspeak. Is Felicia. Felicia, why do you feel so fine? Why does she stay on my mind? Felicia, why do I feel this way? <clears throat> yeah. It's another well, bad creation, bro. ABC. ABC? Yeah. It is? I. It's Aisha, though, isn't it? Oh. Remember, it's Aisha. Oh, yeah. I didn't yeah. know. Felicia. Uh, That's a good replacement, yeah. though. She said, uh, to see MLK give his I Have a Dream speech. In 1963, such an inspirational speech. It is. And also, I hate to say plagiarized, but plagiarized. I have a dream. Taken from, that whole section was taken from like something he had read. Prior. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Okay. But it's amazing. Martin Luther King. Regardless, the message is pretty yeah. outstanding. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. With the, whatever. With the what? That, <clears throat> yeah. Me, 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 me. There is a lot of conspiracy behind James Earl Ray? Yeah, his death, yeah. Have you heard? I've heard that uh, the CIA and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, like, this guy was like a two-bit hood, like, rookie, shitty burglar. Two-bit petty As opposed thief. to a good burglar? Well, yeah, because good ones don't fucking get caught every week. <laughs> like, they'll, he, like, he was in and out of jail, like, all the time. Okay. And he was like a shitty burglar. A shitty burglar. And all of a sudden... Is that like the Hamburglar? Next thing he rolls up in this brand new car and has all this money and stuff. Oh, I know that. And there are theories that the CIA paid him well, yeah. to fucking do to do all that shit and like equipped him and everything. Because he, he didn't have, he was not a smart, like people were like, this guy I may not be a this smart This guy man. barely not, barely tie his shoes from what I know. <laughs> were they magic shoes? That was like chocolate. Magic shoes. You know, it was in them. Never know it's gone bad. Uh, after MLK speech, yeah, MLK speech is amazing. Felicia, Felicia said, "To see if Jesus actually rose after the third day." Interesting. The resurrection. According to Sam Kinison, he was in Vegas with his twelve friends for the weekend. <laughs> Left on Friday, came back. Sure, you were dead. Yeah. Have you ever seen the meme of the Last Supper where it's like that would have not that would be that would break all COVID protocols? <laughs> no, so they're all like not socially distanced. Oh, that's hilarious. Yes, spilling the salt, Judas, son sure. of a bitch. Remember, because he spilled the he was the closest one to sitting next to the salt. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. That. The, remember from the origin of uh, strange customs, throwing the oh, salt over your shoulder. Oh, that was from Judas. I didn't. I yeah. don't remember that. Yeah, Satan or Jesus? It was Judas or Satan, and something about the salt being on the table spilt. Uh, in the painting, painting of the, the Last Supper. Okay. I think. I, I, th I don't. I think that one's good. out like, <laughs> even because we're so far ahead, it's way in arrears, but still ahead of us. Whoa. Is that like a time <clears throat> loop time continuum? Warp. It's a, it's a uh, Rocky. Let's Rocky, do the time a, warp again. It's just a knocked conscious. It's a horror show. Horror it's not show. a Rocky horror yeah, it's just a show. Hor it's a horror show. It's just a horror show. Wow. It's a fecal fecal festival it's and poop parade. a poop parade <laughs> or a shit show uh all right next felicia, felicia thank had, you so much so three oh, she how had many two more god damn it felicia she had four that's i'm just kidding felicia, uh, that's awesome. neil armstrong yeah. walking on the moon uh, mm, from the capsule on uh, watching on tv from earth wait well, from what perspective she did not say because that's very interesting on the perspective on that one yes or any of the events, right? Do you want to be a? Do you want to watch JFK be shot? Do you want to be in the square? Do no, you want to be seat, bro? Do you know what I'm saying? I do like, know what you're saying. Do you want to be Lee Harvey Oswald? Do you want to be yeah. the CIA that perhaps orchestrated the whole thing? Do you want to be a Secret Service agent that climbed on the back of the bumpers like, yeah. "Hey, let me get you, buddy." Hey, buddy. Oh, too late. All right. Next up, she said, "Did the Big Bang happen?" Nice. That is a really great historical event because that that tells you where Felicia's mind is. She's she's universal. Yes. Because everyone's I guarantee every other answer is earthly. 
historical well, with some kind of human interface. She said walking on the moon, so that's two that are not yeah, earthly. But she picked the Big Bang. Yeah. The big, I don't know. No one else picked that, correct? I did. That was also on my list. Okay. However, no one else you, picked it. Yeah, but, Felicia and I. Yeah, let's. I mean, you are you and you're you. Who did? Who did you? Would a, I'm me. Felicia, the excellent I'm answers. Me. Thank you so I'm... much. I don't have enough pl- applauses. I can't. I can't just give you out can't handshakes. Applause. I can't give out Paul Hollywood handshakes all the fucking time. Okay. I already blew my load on Mackenzie's because her answers were good. So okay. both are they're equally good and twice as good because she has four of them. Yes. <laughs> I like the Big Bang. Did she expound on that no. or just <laughs> get it to expound on that? Expand or yeah, expound? Expand, expand. She did not expand on it or expound. It's the worst joke ever. Damn it. All right, your turn. Uh, next up was Brian with the fall of the Roman Empire. But that's, I like that answer a lot. But what, yeah, that's a tough that, one. It happened over hundreds, hundreds of, years. of years. Right. There so is it steady decline? Is it the la- I mean, is it the last emperor when he falls? You know, I don't. There's is it a, a battle that changed power you know what i mean is there something yeah. like that yeah that one's a hard one to uh yeah and what it caused the beginning of the dark ages whoa and now but to see it. to see one of the greatest civilizations ever on the planet to fade away that's a massively historical event that's a dumb sentence well it's massively like the, historical it's like watching the egyptians go yeah, but, but what's funny is we're not concerned about the the fall of the Egyptian Empire ever. We never t- really talk about that. We're curious how it happened, but we never really talk about. It. We talk about the building of the pyramids only. It's the only thing we talk about. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, or whatever you know, whatever. I understand your point. Yeah, you know, the Sphinx. How old it truly is. Yes. Those kinds of things. Right. We don't ever the really Sphinx. talk about what really caused the decline. What caused? It? I know they've talked about it to some extent, but no one has that interest like they do. Who built the pyramids? How were they built? How old are they? How old is the Sphinx? Is it really ten thousand? Is it twelve thousand years old, or is it five thousand years old? Yes. I mean that's a big fucking number. You would think that there's a big difference there. And the people who are digging their heels just because they came up with an answer already—that's fine if you don't agree with it, but don't shit on the idea just because it's not. In line with your thought. pooping on ideas is bad, bro. No, you gotta you gotta expound ideas. Yes, we should talk about that. Oh, okay, because you it, mentioned right. it, but write, I can't write it down. I was gonna talk about parlor, but oh, don't do it. I'm not gonna uh, do next it. up, Brian said, "I'd also like to know how alcohol was invented, and who was brave enough to try it." The Egyptian wine, especially bourbon and tequila. Who was the first know. guy to try tequila? Some Mexican. Some yeah, correct. I bet he was number one in the community. <laughs> <laughs> Thank that you. That is a dad joke right there, bro. <laughs> nice <laughs> done. I'm well. I'm gonna I'm gonna qualify to Ron White because he has number one tequila. Oh, helps. I didn't know that. Yeah, you, you know who Ron? You know? Yeah, Ron yeah, White. I know him. But I didn't yeah, know he had a guy. I know. I, I like. He him. has a tequila brand. I didn't know it's that. Number okay. one tequila. J okay. J U A N. You know how That's there's scary. like a. Jim, Jack, and Jose. Yeah, the wise, the men. three wise men. Why isn't there? A, a why isn't there? A tequila named Jesus or Jesus. That that would be that would be the fourth wise man. Wouldn't it be Paco? No, it'd be Jesus. Yeah, but Jim wasn't one of the wise men either, nor was fucking no, but Jack. I would draw the question. <laughs> Jesus wasn't a wise man. How do you know? Because the wise men came to Jesus. Oh, <laughs> I thought. I thought you meant Jesus. <laughs> you said, you said, like, you know, Jesus, serious. when you go, Jesus wasn't a wise man. I'm like, yeah, he was pretty smart. You hear how serious I got all of a sudden? I was like, what, like, what the ch- fuck am I talking about? What are you about? talking about over there? Over there, I got to stop talking over there. All right, there. next up is uh, Angela's okay. son, Jake. One more time. Go through those again. Uh, the alcohol one? Yeah. Uh, the beginning of alcohol. When was that? When would you say that was? Was it the Egyptian <sighs> wine? Yeah, it's it's like three thousand, isn't it? Three thousand BC was the first alcohol. Because well, obviously, two thousand years ago there was. But he's talking about tequila. I don't know when tequila started. I don't know well, when bourbon started. I know you know bourbon was was in Kentucky, so right. 
But whiskey came from obviously from UK first. Yeah, from, from Scotland. Scotland. Yeah, right. But whiskey and, whiskey and bourbon probably Scottish started around whiskey. the same time. And yeah. it well, was there's in American the seventeen hundreds. Okay, and then you know the fermentation process. Right. I know when when Jose Cuervo started, but I don't know when tequila was invented. Right. So I don't know the beginning of that. Yeah. Who, but I love the thought of. Who's the motherfucker? Like, who, who's, who's the like, taste tester? Hey, give it to Miguel. Yeah. He'll try it. Miguel will try <laughs> anything. Miguel will try anything. It's like fucking like Miguel cereal. likes it. Miguel oh likes it. Oh, my God. Oh, that's fucking beautiful. You're welcome. Man. This is why I love you. I know. What's what's after that? Uh, Jake said good. he wanted to witness the 1992 Dream Team. In... In, in the Olympics. In the Olympics. Yeah, at the Olympics. When they won themselves. the gold medal. Where what what's what city was that? Was Spain. that Sydney? Spain? It was Bata- I believe Barcelona. Spain. Barcelona? I don't know what city. Barcelona? Sure, Barcelona. I don't know. I just felt like saying that because it sounds like that guy from uh, that seventies show. It does. Will Vilderamos? Yes, Wilmer. What are you talking about? The Barcelona? <laughs> you don't like the Barcelona? Is that what you're trying to tell me? You don't like the oh, Barcelona? God, dear Jesus. I don't know why. Um is that the one where the no, it's not. Maybe maybe it is. What? Where they took like a really offensive picture where one of the basketball teams slanted their eyes. Oh, it could have been. No, it was after that. No, that must have been in Tokyo or something. It must, it must it, have been yeah. Span, I think it was a Spanish team in Tokyo. Well, I don't think or in it, Japan. It wasn't in Tokyo. Or maybe I mean maybe in Korea or China. Yeah. Could have been China. What could have yeah, been China? Beijing? Beijing? Could have been the because Beijing Olympics. Tokyo yeah. is this year. Or Correct. last been, year. Right. 2020, could have been, 2021. Could have been the Beijing one. Yes. Just, I forgot all about that. Yeah. I just remember all those weird things yeah. that happened. The Olympics do weird shit. We should probably do a listy Olympic something. Okay. Probably. Michael anyway, Phelps. That's interesting. Dream Team is a great answer. Cause, yeah. I concur. I mean, best of the best. And basketball is one of those, like, if you're individually the best at your position, there's only five of you. Yes. You do the chemistry does not really need to be there when you're that fucking talented. You're just good. You're just so good. And it's such a short, it's not like a full season. You know, it's only a handful of games. Yeah. 20, maybe 30 at most. You know, so, some warm ups. Well, with practices and yes. some friendly games right. and just right, kind of right, getting right. used to international yeah. rules and all that. Yeah. Anyway, please continue, sir. Uh, we have Wayne with the first man on the moon. And did he specify from no. what, from which? And then Angela said the signing of the Declaration of Independence. I like that. Uh, which we did discuss. Yeah. Because in the stinky Anything room. you'd like to add to that? The stinky room in Philadelphia, bro. Well, what are your thoughts about it? What are my thoughts about, about it? About being with I, be, be, I think it would be amazing because it's the, it's the creation of a nation, you know? And 240 years ago, and look where we are now. You know, it's amazing the things that the country has been through and the the, the innovations, et cetera. So, yeah. yeah, it's a huge thing. And to separate from the one of the most powerful um, monarchies in history, you know, that's a big deal. You know, they had the, the British Navy was badass, the best Navy ever, right? So, well, until now, but that's a big deal to separate from that, that kingdom. Yeah, it was tough. It's funny, we still don't give France enough credit. Because they helped us immensely. We needed yes. their navy because we had nothing. Yes. We didn't have anything. I mean. We had muskets, bro. What? what? We had like guerrilla type warfare. I mean. Yes. It, it was weird. We were. Militia tactics. We were fucking. I don't know how it happened. I mean, the only thing I can explain is that the supply chain was just so far because it's across the other side of the ocean. I don't know. Perhaps. I, mean, I don't know. I'm, yeah. I'm just saying like, God damn, we, we didn't have much and we were able to do what we did. Whoa. I'm just, you know, That's a good point. Like, these guys had, like, like, to your point, muskets. Yay. So, anyway. Yes. Very cool. The other Birth Wayne, of the Nation is really fucking awesome. Totally. Uh, the other Wayne said, the driving of the Golden Spike. It's the one that connects the railroads? That is correct. The Transcontinental Railroad. Yes, sir. I don't know where it was, but I, I do know that. California or Colorado? Was that the I'm, West I'm somewhere, sure. wasn't it? I believe so. I don't. I don't know where it was though. Okay, that's an interesting one. So, did he want to drive the gold spike into the ground, or just witness it being or completed it. and seeing the 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 railroads? We're connect. in Utah. 
Utah. Golden Spike National Historical Spot. I'm, I'm thinking is the historical park. Yes. I think. Golden Ceremonial Caragold Final Spike driven by for the first transcontinental railroad. There it is. Ta-da. Historical park Yay, in Utah. Goals. Congratulations, Mormons. You did it again. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucked up shit. Uh, Abel, you see God and you fucking get people to places where they want to go. Whoa. Abel uh, <laughs> said the following <laughs> without an answer. My brain keeps defaulting to disaster shit like the Challenger explosion, but dot, 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 dot. I don't want to see that. <laughs> and then he never got back to me with an answer. <laughs> so that's his answer. I love that. That's a great. I was like, I don't uh, three exclamation points out the end of that. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, up next, Mary said the building of the Great Pyramid in Egypt and the resurrection of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Mr. Aikens down south said the first flight of the 707 oh big old jet airliner don't carry me too far away oh big old jet is that, airliner is that the steve miller band is here <laughs> i got to stay because as i get on the 707 Riding high, got tears in my eyes. You know you got to go through hell before you get to heaven. heaven. Yeah. Come on, bro. That was 707, man. Steve and we have a Steve Miller in our audience. Yeah. So that it it's I, all I, this I, is apropos. Apropos. Apro Apropos. Apropos. <laughs> and other words that we don't know apropos, and also know. cannot pronounce. We know it's apropos. People. Yes. We do. Uh, Mr. Kevin said, Kevin, I'd love to see things being built. The pyramids, Nazca lines. Don't know what that is. Yep. The Nazca lines are the ones with the spider on the ground from the air. You can see all the different animals. Oh, yes. The Nazca okay. Lines. I didn't know that term. And then they, they run parallel to like allegedly magnetic yeah. north or something or true north. All kinds of shit. Some like weird that. kind of shit. Yeah. They're perfectly straight. And whatnot. Yeah. Tijuana. No, Tiwanaku. Tiwanaku. T i w a n a k u. Tiwanaku. Sure. Tiwanaku. Sure. Stonehenge. Yeah. And other ancient megalithic areas in general. Yeah. How the fuck long do you think Stonehenge took to make? Three, four days. A weekend. Long weekend. <laughs> Did they get their buddies to help in the DIY yeah, show? Yeah, Did they yeah, YouTube you, it? Like, take Friday off, take Monday off. Did they boom. YouTube how, how yeah. to stick the stuff together? Correct, how yes. to adhere? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, that one's curious but just because of the height of it and just the massiveness as well. It you had, had to, to take drag like those a stones while, there. Right? You had to drag the stones there and then erect them <laughs> in the way, in the pattern that it was done. Are we doing a Stonehenge one? Sure. Are we putting it on the list? Sure. I don't I, have a I'm list. very oh. interested in that. I am yes. too. I am too because I'm curious about the whole, like the way it's laid out. Yeah. All the history of it, how long. And obviously there's other monolithic, that's not monolithic, but, well, it is a monolithic structure, but it's monoliths stacked on top of each other as well. Yes. So it's really not monoliths. It's just many monoliths together. What? Because, like, I understand. Can it be a monolith if it's more than one? Because a monolith is mono, which is one. So if it's Whoa. 22 monoliths, is it really, are it's they really monoliths? It's a megalith. I don't it's know. It's a polylith, it's I would It's a polylith. Guess. That's, you're correct. Right? Yes. So shouldn't that just be a polylithic structure? I believe you are correct. We don't care, but you're correct. Oh. Oh. No one cares about my shit. What goes up in my head? Remember that thing we talked about? We're going to reference it for the second time. What thing? Uh, shit was just going to come out of my mouth. Oh, not yeah. Knowing. That, <laughs> polylithic. Bro. That was it. Polylithic <laughs> structures. Yes write that one down yes sir i'm on it <laughs> um yeah i'm totally down uh tell us what tell me what documentary and what set to watch and i don't I'll, know we'll do, we'll do a stone a documentary yeah well, but you're interested in it so what? we gotta, oh, so look, it's we on gotta read up on yeah you have to tell me what to watch i don't want to tell you shit okay i don't even want to be here i know i don't like you i know <laughs> you want to switch chairs no i don't even like you i don't even want to be here <laughs> uh, am i supposed to be here today next up adam said clerks 
I'd go for the first powered flight at Kitty Hawk. That's a good one. Seeing the moon landing live on TV. Is there anything like that? They called that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hate you, dude. I had to throw that oh, in. I was like, shit, dick. can I sneak that in today? Oh, you're such a dick. And I had a I wonder if that's what it sounds oh, like. It probably sounds like. <laughs> Adam's third and final selection in honor of my semi. English Wait, heritage. Third. He had three choices, bro. Kitty Hawk moon landing. Third. In honor of my semi English heritage, not endorsing the monarchy, but in hindsight, knowing that she'd live for a. That doesn't make sense. That she lived for how long? Queen Elizabeth's coronation. QE2. Yeah. This one. The current. Queen. Isn't she yes. Queen Elizabeth II? I don't know. I think she's cute. Queen Elizabeth II. No, okay. Possibly. Yes, the current one just because she's had such a long Because she's tenure. been the longest yeah. living monarch. Yeah, that's pretty amazing in history. Yeah. Um, she's a robot and a lizard and all that stuff. Like, it's not a lie. <laughs> I'm just kidding, everybody. I, that was just We need to watch hyperbole. V, dude. Seriously. Yeah, we, we should, need, uh, The new ones? Both. Okay. Because I the never saw the second one. Are thin. Are they? They're, they're a little thin. Okay. The the original ones I will absolutely watch. Singers. Yeah, I want to. I have them all. I, that makes it a lot easier. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier for us. I think I have all of Is them. Is Queen the Elizabeth in them? <laughs> no, she's a hologram, bro. Oh, she's not a lizard. She's, she's a hologram. A, no, she's a lizard, but she's hologrammed human on top. So on you a can't polytheistic thingy. <laughs> on a polytheistic structure. Is it ironic that Stonehenge is in the UK? Yes. Whoa. Is it ironic <laughs> that Alanis Morissette is from Canada? Y yeah. Which had no connection at all. Let's so. go, Canada. 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 Um, what were we talking about? You border <laughs> on the Adriatic. Uh, uh, lastly, Albania, sir. <laughs> Albania. Lastly is Echolima with a response that g snuck in 25 minutes ago. Just in, just in the line? Just <laughs> under the line? This just in. Did it? Seeing the top stone of the Great Pyramid placed. I want to know what the fuck, though. I want the rest of it. I want to see what the hell happened to the rest of it. All of it. Yeah. Like, yes. That's a great answer. And is it really a tomb? Is it, you know, getting those answers? You is know? it that resonance chamber that they talk about where it creates energy? Like, right. That's a bold fucking statement. Yeah. That is a bold fucking statement. Yeah. Um, and as Carl Sagan always said, bold claims need bold evidence or something like that. Outrageous claims need outrageous evidence or something like that. Yeah. But Pre precisely. So it's that. true though. Wouldn't you say? All right. Yes. So we get to do ours. Yes. All right. How many you got? I'll go back and forth because I, I don't have any what? actually. I, I, they're in my head and okay. I have them all jumbled and juggled. Jambalaya. I was, I had a criteria for if it was a single event. Or I'm sorry, if I if I a could only choose singular event or a long I term only yeah, yeah, yeah. well no, if I could only choose one event or if okay. I can only choose one thing versus how many could we choose. If it was something where we could only choose one, I would have made it anything that's not on any kind of video that you can reference. So like going back into like Kennedy's assassination. I know I'd love okay. to know what really happened, but being a spectator in the fucking crowd doesn't mean you'd know that you saw Lee Harvey or no one else or someone in the grassy knoll. Like true positioning is very important there, right? Like, yeah. how do you know what to look for or where to, where to stand, where to be? Yeah. Right. In this case, I'd be like, okay, I already saw that on video. I, like I saw the assassination. It's a crazy event. I saw the moon landing. Like, would it be cool to be him on the moon? Fuck. Yeah. But that wasn't the question, right? The question was, what historical event do we witness? Yes. So if it was just a singular event, I would have gone anything that's not captured on video or recorded like in that way. Because like... So anything pre the video age. Yeah, so, anything prior to you know, like probably World, World War I. Yeah, World War One, two, probably. 30s, 20s, 20s probably. Anything prior to the 1920s. Something like that probably. It would... That's where I at least start. Like, okay. 
witnessed the sinking of the Titanic would Whoa. be an interesting one, right? Yeah, for real. That one just popped in my head, for example. That's really good. Dude. So I, that's like an interesting one to choose because there's no video of it sink or of it breaking up, right? Or, Correct. Or what actually, how it sank, right? Yeah. There are new theories now of how it broke and how it did this and that and the other. It's all theoretical, right? It's all theoretical. Like physics. So. Yeah. So go ahead, sir. Please share with us. Uh, I also had the pyramids. So yeah. you expound on it. You tell us about the pyramids and your fascination and all that. Well, I, 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 as I've said before, I always liked uh, ancient civilizations, you know, Gre uh, Greece and Rome and Egyptians and Mayans. I, I, I find those ancient civilizations fascinating. So to be able to see, to Mackenzie's point, how did it really get built? Did it, did it, were ramps used? And if they were, they were massively long to be able to get the stones at those massive heights. And some of the stones were 110 tons. That's just, it seems impossible, implausible. So to see that would be amazing. That is a really good one. That, I would agree with that. I would love to see how. Just watch the whole process. I, I can't. I'm, I'm astonished if it's if it was really, like. So tell me, how did it happen? Did they have anti grav like help? Did like a spaceship beam all the all the rocks in place? Like we didn't use little cantilevers and rolls and whatever ramps. Like what? I'm not poo pooing your thought. I'm asking <laughs> what it. What is your thought? Like how did it happen? Well, because like that's the point, right? It seems impo implausible at best. Or are we going to do an Egyptian podcast? We'll probably do it, but just I don't. Yeah, I guess we could save it for that. Okay. I love it. Though. I'd love to see what it was and uh, how that worked. I agree. I also had the Big Bang theory. Well, the Big Bang. You mean? Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> Not the TV show. I want to be there to see the TV show being taped. I want to, I want to be in the live studio audience. I want to see Penny. Hey, now. I don't want to see Penny as much. I like Penny. Oh, but yeah. I like um, Bernadette. I do Tambian. Bernadette, yeah. It, yeah. Uh, also on my list was Easter Island. I'd like to know why they had those 32-foot tall heads faces so you want to see them being made and, and, and why moved? why were they made and how they were moved, and how right? they Remember were moved that was the whole thing those massive distances and they're they're many 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 tons why the theory is i think the newest theory is walking they're they're walk they walk them what they so they rock them like that like walked them oh like just lean yes roll, roll. like you would have washed time. Machine. yeah 20 people yeah but yeah, you 20, would, 20, 30 people. Well, there was one where they said they, they laid logs and rolled them across like on yeah. logs. But now that I think they're the walking theory makes sense because you can put ropes around it and kind of pull it from above and kind of like manipulate it interestingly. But it's so heavy. Yeah, they are. I, I'm not disagreeing, but if you have a hundred, you know, 20, 30 people aside, I would think you could probably, I don't know. It's interesting. Um, there's some interesting documentaries on Easter Island for sure. But uh, tell, I want to hear more about the Big Bang because the Big Bang. Absolutely interesting. Well, that to, is an amazing to be there in all blackness, and then all of a sudden everything, light, heat, matter. That's can, that's crazy. That thought's crazy. Can we refine the answer to just the beginning? Because like yes. we don't know how. Yes. yes. Well, right. The beginning I mean, of existence. Fuck. God's fuck's sake. The oh, Bible's dude. true. And this fucking bearded white guy made all this shit like in six, seven days or six, six days, days and resting on the seventh. Yes. God for fuck's sake, that's true. But I don't think it is. But that would be fucking awesome to see that happen if that was true. <laughs> so I'd want yeah. to see the beginning. Whatever, however yes. the beginning was. Whatever <laughs> really is the beginning. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And we're, we could be totally wrong. Right? Yeah. What would be really cool? And it's really outside of this because it it totally f screws Fubar's the question because the question is like what historical event would you want to see so you want to be specific about the exact thing I'd love to see like the entire creation of the universe from beginning to now 
watching like how the earth got created all that and just watching it like time lapse footage yeah like super fast but enough time to see it all to see what really happened yeah i mean because it like pangea and all that shit yeah how it broke with the tectonic plates and all that stuff like how where life happened where it started the origin of humanity still confirming homo sapiens origins and yeah and you know did they which we understand they we believe they crossbred with like neanderthal and and denisovians and whatnot uh which is another yes i've read about that um but we don't know i mean we 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 see the dna and stuff like that but i mean i'd love to see all that happening you know yeah i agree so it's not a singular event it'd be like i'd want to know it all (laughs) i'd want to see it all such a greedy fuck that's what i mean okay ridiculous big bang or i if the big bang is it that would be a wondrous fucking thing to to just witness yeah i don't even know how you could witness it well you'd be floating in space bro but it's space isn't there yet you'd be floating in darkness bro but you'd be in nothingness but you can't be something in nothingness yeah yeah dude this is a fictional conversation oh yeah oh, yeah i forgot <laughs> You can be on a polylithic. I was wondering how far I could like keep just needling Dude, into the sky. Why? Why? Wh- why is the why? sky blue? Why? Well, how come? Why? Look, what are you, five? Why? Yes, yes, you um, are. What's next on your list? I, I don't want to see just the resurrection of Jesus. I want to see that Jesus was actually a real person. Okay. So I need to see multiple events. Three, to be exact, would be birth of Jesus, them declaring Jesus. No, four events birth of jesus john the baptist declaring him to be whatever when he baptizes him Mm -hmm. the execution of jesus on the cruci on the cross yeah the crucifix no these are all the same person throughout this time history and time and then the resurrection i'd have to see all those four events but i'd have to see him fucking move the boulder or what I'd have to see him actually get up i can't not that the fucking boulders moved and he's gone Right, yeah. you have to see him rise from the dead, walk out of there, or float to heaven, or whatever the fuck. Well, floating to heaven was forty days later. Where the fuck did he go for forty days? He hung out with the disciples, with the apostles. When the rock was moved, Af- yeah, after the rock was moved, I thought he was gone at that point. Yeah, yeah, and then he hung out with the disciples. Oh no shit! And then he ascended to heaven forty days later. Did they all watch that shit happen? Yes. Get the fuck out of here! I cannot. I'm okay. serious. That I need to. I need to see all that then. Then there are five. Do you need the five forty events. day later ascension I need, I need ceremony. Five events. Um, but does that make sense that I have yeah, to see those absolute events because yeah. any of those events aren't what they're claimed to be? The whole story loses anything. I'd love to have faith. I, I I would I would love doubting Thomas to be confirmed. I love to be told that like we've been told wrong before. Like. We've changed our minds on shit that we've yeah. had more evidence. Fucking be real. Stop that it. would be fucking great. But no, I just can't. That, I can't dude, believe it. that's crazy talk, bro. It's All crazy right. talk. What else you got? I have two left. Okay. First is the assassination of Julius Caesar by the Brutus. The Ides of March. By Brutus. Oh, wasn't that by the Senate? Wasn't that by a bunch it of them? It was in the Senate, but Brutus was... Didn't like the four guys the la- stab the it fuck out? It was several dudes, but uh, Brutus was one of the last. Brutus? Brutus. Brutus. Uh, yeah, that's pretty fucking... The Ides of March, Because right? he was a tyrant, you know? Yeah. The first emperor. Right. And that, that is the Ides, right? The yes, Ides. sir. Okay. March 15th. I told, I told you about my two restaurants, or the restaurant and the bars I want to open. Uh, No. I never told you about those. Uh, I want to open up an Italian restaurant called the Ides of Par- of Starch. Nice. Ah, what's the other one? <laughs> um, it would be a bar that's next to it called the Ides of Parched. Nice. That's fantastic. Uh, ladies and gentlemen out there, please feel free to take that. Those those. If well, I free saw ideas. That, if I w- drove by a store, if I drove by a place and I saw the Ides of Parched, I'd be like, oh my god, that's my fucking idea. That's so beautiful. I would feel like that's awesome, just that someone else did that had the same idea and did it and ran with it. I agree. But the Ides of Starch is just a great fucking name too. Or make it like a bakery. The Ides of Starch. Oh, I love that. And uh, I wanted to ba- do a bakery called Gluten for Punishment. <laughs> <laughs> it's the other one I wanted to do. It's fantastic. I've got so many stupid ideas that I, I'm, I'm at jobs. I'm not a Wozniak, bro. I know. Is there a Wozniak out there for, for me? Uh, I can't go on Match.com. 
Uh, I can't do that. Meetup.com? I can do meetup. Maybe you can meet a boy. I don't want to meet a boy. You can meet a boy. A a, A young, strapping young man. A man. Is he strapping? A strapping young lad. Lad. Yes. Oh, lad. Lad Laddie. Come on, laddie. To help you with your ideas. That'd be a great idea. All right, so your next one. I'm sorry. No, no. You you uh, can't wait too long. Off, uh, off. I had Julius Caesar's death. Yes. You, what it's, I, so you're Tell up. us more about that. I think it would be monumental. What, what specifically? Just You just want to see that shit happen? Yeah, because the guy was, you know, an emperor of the Roman Empire, and they thought he was corrupt, so there was a scheme to kill him. You know, it was a, you know, obviously there's a date named after the dude, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, the guy made the calendar, the names of the calendar. July is after named after him. So yes, sir. he was an incredibly famous person throughout history. That's pretty amazing. My next event. Yes. I don't even know what it's called, but it's just the darkest fucking place anyone could probably go as an event. Because, like, I don't know what my fascination with it would be, but it, it'd just be fascinating. There was a, was it a three-day ritual in the Aztec culture where, like, tens of thousands of people were just slaughtered? They just walked up to this altar, and the guy cuts their heart out, and they fucking just killed them all, like, one after another. Isn't that where they cut their heads off, and the heads roll down the stairs of the of the pyramid, the step pyramid? The step pyramid? Is that the, Is one? That the same thing? I, I don't remember. I just remember there being, like, this one ceremony. Like and a blood like, ritual. Yeah, but, like, the vast sheer number of people that I heard died were murdered or whatever killed yeah sacrificed sacrificed just to witness like i don't want to see the gore of it but just to see the sheer not like the numbers of it because i'd be oddly like fascinated is not the word because that i'm not like in a pot it's not in a positive way you know what i mean like i don't see it like a positive are you just looking to see the worst of humanity yeah, that that could. You even, can just that, get on the either. freeway, bro. Yeah, <laughs> get cut off. Every you can just three not. Seconds. You see people without blinkers. Same well, I just shit. mean, <laughs> or all the time. All the blinkers time. on all the time. Yeah, sir. Are you ever going to turn? It's been twelve right miles lane, in the right lane with the left turn <laughs> signal on the whole time. The left winker. My grandma called out a winker. My oma. You got your vinka. Stop your vinking. Your vink. <laughs> your vinka's on. Oh shit. German oma loved her. She was great. Anyway, um. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. That and like to piggyback off that, I don't know if it's a separate one, but like seeing like Auschwitz happening live. Cause like, it's not like we can change it. Right. We're talking about witnessing an event. It's not like I condone the event in any fucking way. Right. But I don't know if I'd ever want to feel that level of sorrow. Yeah. I, I couldn't handle that. I don't know. I, but I'm fascinated by it. Is it, is it weird that I'm fascinated? Yeah, I'm dis- I didn't, I'm disturbed that you're fascinated or something. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, even like if, you, if, if, if I were to witness the liberation of Auschwitz. Oh, well, it, that, that would be fucking amazing too. Right. But still you've got to see all the bodies and to see the people that are emaciated and tortured and that's not cool. Uh, uh, n- uh no, uh, no. Yeah. Yeah, I I totally get it. And I guess to lesser extent with the Auschwitz cuz we have some video that we've seen. Yeah. But like we haven't we never saw like blood rituals of like Aztecs. Right. That's pretty fucking like gory. Yeah, man, like I'm curious the ceremony of it. What kind of like did they use the same knife? Was it a ceremonial thing? Like all of how that whole th- how that even happened? How it came to be. And why? Did, yeah. Was it a sacrifice to the gods? Yeah, I'm not sure if it was to, like, the Spaniards that did it, that initiated it. I don't think it. so. Uh, this was before the Spaniards, right? I think it was, it could have been. Because the but Aztecs thought, were around for thousands of years. Yeah, but I, I'm not sure if this was the court when Cortez, they got on, Cortez got one of the groups on his side, and then they did some oh. crazy shit. Oh. I'm, so I'm not 100% sure. Okay. I don't want to talk I thought it was like my, they were killing their own people for the... To please the gods, they were. That's what I thought you meant. Under like a crazy ruler at the time, you know what I mean? But I didn't think it had anything to do with the Spaniards. Well, I think the Spaniards got him into power, or got. I I I don't want to talk out. So it was like a CIA coup, but different. Yeah, I don't want to talk about out of my ass because if I'm wrong, because French onions. I'm wrong so much. Stop it. 
that I can't talk right. Go. Okay. okay. So what's what's your next one? Lastly Lighten on my up. list, sir. Yes. Is the first ever event at the Roman Coliseum to see ever ever. So like, I got front row at the Coliseum on Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> to see the gladiators versus the lions. I get the first loaf. What up, bread and circuses, bro? Toss me the fucking bread, bro. To see get, the first get those gladiators. Awning, get those awnings fucking covering me <laughs> in the sun, you sons of bitches. <laughs> Yes, that's my final answer, is the Roman Coliseum, the first games. That's great. Are you not entertained? That's great. I sent you a link that had some a bunch of them on there, but you, we had so many survey wounds, I don't even want to go through it. But um, That's all I got, That's bro. an awesome one. I know. I like that. What else, what else is on your list? I'd want to see... I'd want to see... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Buddha. Yes. In his, in, in in his, you know, alive. In his outfit. In his levitating. You know, doing his thing. Doing his Buddha stuff. Gauta. What's what? What's his name? What? I don't know. I thought his name was Buddha. Yeah, but it's Siddhara Ga- Ga- Gapta or whatever. They, I don't know. Anyway, what you're talking about. Well, that's who Buddha. That's who became Buddha. Was oh. the guy who's the prince. Okay. He was the prince of the king, and then he saw prince this. Of the king. He saw all the suffering. And that's when he shed his his royal garb and denounced his princedom and became to Zamunda. Buddha. And he became Buddha. Yeah, okay. I didn't I wasn't Don't a- Zamunda me with your goddamn coming to America. <laughs> Why this is crazy stuff. Let's get in the barber shop. <laughs> what the hell is this? Um, what do you know from funny you bastards? What's going on here? <laughs> you know what we should do? What? We should watch Cocoon and then do a movie review on that. I don't think I've ever seen Cocoon. Do you see? Do you see what happens for some like today? No, my brain is not wired correctly. You no. can tell, right? Uh, so it's every day, <sighs> bro. That's a lot to swallow, but true. But a lot, <laughs> it's, it's just a lot to swallow. <laughs> so those are a bunch of places. Twitter world, tell us what places, events. What events? I'm sorry. What events Historical would you like? Historical events. Witness? I mean. May I close on one too? Of course. I want to. I want to see Hitler blow his fucking brains out. Yeah, I, I thought that about one. putting that on the Being list as in well. In the eagle's nest, like flying the right. Wall. What really happened? Did he shoot Ava Braun? Did she shoot herself? Did she shoot him and then herself? Did he shoot her and then himself? Did they each shoot themselves? There's a lot of shooting going on, dude. Well, the, I, we we believe it was self-inflicted gunshot. Wounds. Yeah, murder it, it suicide. Right, but it wasn't like by pill or by like correct. Like uh, that's what we've been told. Right. Yeah. At least that's. What I think told. he moved to Argentina and <laughs> in that village. And then Elvis was there with him too. Yeah. And Tupac and Biggie came yeah, over. Yeah. After. It was a big old party, bro. Yeah. Well, look. Look. You know? Do you know what Biggie Smalls brought? Uh, sandwiches. He brought a T-bone steak, cheese, eggs, and Welch's grape. Oh yes, I do recall you saying that previously. You know, what Tupac brought. Uh, trouble. Doctor Dre. Doctor. Cal- he brought California love. California. <laughs> You're a fucking dork. So we're doing like multiple songs with weird vo- voices, like Video Killed. Yeah. California knows how to party. All right. That, uh, that's all I got. <laughs> <Did you, laughs> would you want to be present for the writing of that song in the studio? This has been. <laughs> This has been the least lucid, not conscious, I think. Yeah. But it's been fun. Like, I've uh, enjoyed yeah. today. It's also been... Tambian. Have you watched commercials at all? Television no. commercials Fuck at all? no. Have you watched any of these Geico commercials? Oh, yeah, yeah. Have you seen the ones with Tag Team from Whoop There It Is? With the... Yeah. It's been a while, though. Okay, with the, what, with the ice cream? No. Ice cream scoop? What's your point? Scoop, there it is. Oh, shut the fuck up. That's funny. And then they did chocolata, chocolata, chocolata. And they're like, chocolate something, cookie dough. And then, and then. What does that have to do with insurance? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, but what's a fencing or having a clogging problem? Oh, the piping oh, was stupid. The rats is amazing. Rat is great. The rat, one, rat, problem. rat problem, the fencing problem, and the clogging problem are great. The ants. But I they like went, the ants. Oh yeah, the ants. Yeah, yeah, we have an ant problem. Why That's are we a great one. Yeah. Expired. 
Expired. God, I can't mute that fucking Expired. commercial close and oh my god. Fast enough. Stop talking. Um but they just did a piping one. Have you seen the one with piping? Yes. That's an awful one. It's yeah. just dumb. Why would why would bagpipers be hanging out? That everywhere? was funny, dude. But sitting in that's in the funny. Sink, it's not as funny as the other ones because the other ones like dude, would still affect you. When the you. bagpiper is in the shower, that's fucking funny, dude. Bro, <laughs> we've got a piper down. We we probably won't agree on this, but I okay, I'll give it to you. That's funny. I, I don't agree, but I'll give okay. It. I just felt the pipe. It was a stretch. The problem is the clogging one is real because clog people with clogs above would suck if you fucking read it. But if you're if you're turned the water on and it sounded like bagpipes, that'd be a problem. But they were just sitting there and it was the pipes were always going on. That's Geico, right? Yeah, but it yeah. wasn't like the fencers like where the fences come through <laughs> and they kick on the wind chime. That shit's funny. <laughs> like that one to me was great because it was like a lunge. Yeah, that one not, uh, it was not physical comedy. Do you want to know the worst part about this? The it has nothing to do with A, this. A, we're talking about it. B, I paid for those commercials with my monthly premium at fucking Geico. So you're welcome. Thank you, sir. <laughs> for your entertainment is my premium, bitch. Government something insurance company, right? Government, Government employee, employee. Insurance company. Insurance, correct. Yeah. Because it was started as a military government employee yeah. thingy. Yes, sir. And thank you. Thank you for uh, all those who gave their service. Also. Yes. So, uh, the backdoor Commodore. I, yeah, I got to con- I need yeah. to give him a call. Okay, cool. But thank you for the submission, Danny. Yeah. We appreciate that. Because Washington Everyone likes else? to bone Betsy Ross. <laughs> oh, a- AKA old school porn. Yeah. Felicia, thank you for your answers. Yes. Bye, Felicia. And hi, Felicia. All, both. Uh, Mackenzie, excellent answers. Yes. Everyone. Yes. GB1 and 2. Yes. Where'd 3 go? Did he three was unresponsive. He was Did busy. He die? No. Wait, wait, wait. He Did was you, busy di- you, disciplining his three-year-old son who put peanut butter in the VCR. Okay. A. They still have a VCR. Uh, bullshit. It was a DVD player. I knew there was. Okay. Either chocolate. Or I peanut gotta butter. see if it's a VCR player that I call Balderdash. Two. Um. That is not an excuse. Sorry. I, I I can't help you, dude. I, I'm just telling you like it is. Come on. What? Come on. What? They just stopped trying after 20 minutes. Well, some people don't have, like, I, I had one response was like, I can't think of anything. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. There's but no... un, unresponsive is like dead. In like Well, he did not respond term. to the text, bro. Uh, okay. God damn. Well, close this out, man. We've had, uh, once again, finalized. What, what were we not talking about two seconds ago? Historical events <laughs> and Geico. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is so much fun. You're such I a like dork. These. What? What a... All right. We'll cl- close this okay. out, bro. Historical events, everybody. Oh, Listen, tell us. Rate, oh, yeah. Review. Download, yeah. give stars, comments, all that shit. No, stay on you. Stay, stay on, on you. me. Stay, stay on, on target. Stay, stay on, on target. Christopher. Tell us. Tell them again. Tell them all that uh, stuff to do. Hello, Twitter world. Uh, please rate us and leave a comment and download and subscribe. And that is all. And be excellent to each other and party on, <laughs> peace.